Oh, woo! Oh, hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Lame Joke Friday. We're not going to be counting the episode numbers anymore because that's not important. The more important thing is, it's another episode. It's Friday. It's time for smiles, laughter, and jokes. And today, I'm also going to introduce to you something that I've been collecting for a while, ever since doing these episodes. You guessed it. A bag of jokes. In this bag contains previous jokes from many different episodes. Heck, there might even be something in this bag that we've never even talked about on this channel before. And to the elections, I still have no comment on it. All I have to say is, what it is is what it is, and we're going to wake up every day with a smile no matter what. So don't go blaming me for anything, because all I'm trying to do is make y'all smile. Okay? I would like to sing a song that... Um kind of kind of illustrates um, how I feel. Today I thought we'd start out with a political joke because at this point, you know, we've been through this whole presidential election and everything. The better question is, how do you know that a politician is lying? Because their mouth is moving. Yeah. Shout out that this is a good joke that a friend told me. So I just thought I'd introduce it to the channel. I definitely agree. You don't know what, what whatever's coming out of their mouth, y y you really can't trust it. It's, it's hard to say, okay? Okay. Now, I know when you've got pain, you've got to find something to help get rid of it, right? Aspirin, painkillers, the whole nine yards. All I can tell you is that aspirin will give you aspirins, okay? Like your own thumb has its own unique signature, so that when you have to put it on something, supposedly no one else has the same thumbprint as you. Of course, I don't really believe that. I'm sure someone out there has one that's almost exactly the same as mine. Yakety yak has no sack. Yakety yak wants a rack. Makes absolutely no sense. Someone told me to say it, so I thought I would. So don't go yakety yakking around or else someone might get mad at you. Okay? No yakking. What do you call a group of people that likes to hang out on roofs all day or all night? Roofies. Just roofies. That's the group name. What do you call a glowing goat? Radioactive. He's catching the airwaves. Glows in the dark. Yeah. You know how we always see those TV shows where it shows the policeman sitting in the car? And you know, he's, he's waiting for someone or watching a bad guy do something. Well, what would you call a policeman that's eating a steak in his car? A stakeout. Just a stakeout. Now we're gonna pull two jokes from the bag of jokes and see if we can find anything that might be old and funny. Just like a, a shout back. All right, let's see what this one is. You learn to moonwalk before you are walking because your ass was in the air while you were crawling. Okay. I'm gonna go for one more. When I meant that I have no idea what I'm pulling from here, it's more of a mystery. There's a lot in here. Second one. Sometimes the cliche doesn't fit the whole. That was terrible, we're doing one more. That, that made absolutely no sense. Oh, everyone's heard this one. How did spinach get its name? Someone was spinning and they had an itch? Ah, last... Well, that concludes today's episode. Since we're sick of tired of polls of ticks or politics, whoever our next president is, we already know, but we're not going to discuss this on this channel because the easy way to say it is we just have to wait and see what happens. I'd rather keep politics in its own world, its own wavy wave of weirdness. Well, anyways, this is Mr. Mike signing out and hope everyone has a good Friday.